storage, and I have never been to one of your coffee chats before, so I'm not sure how this goes uh, forward. And Sharon, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Sharon Thompson. I'm the other part of this team. It's nice to meet you both in sort of real life. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there she is. All right, you guys. Good morning. Some days are, you know, more Monday-ish, <laughs> Wednesday-ish, but we're glad you're here. Welcome to the coffee chat. So did you guys make introductions? Linda and I introduced ourselves, but nobody else has. Okay. But we'd I, love to know who the other people are and what business they have. Or we Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's do a round robin. So I'm, I'm Stacy and I'm late. So uh, <laughs> I think y'all know. I'm Susan. Susan, tell us your business so they, they can get to know you a little better. Where's Jabber Shack? And what do you do at your sure business? You hear me. Okay, hold on. I have to leave. My husband's on the other Zoom. So Jabber okay, Shack. I'm Susan and I'm with the Jabber Shack. Yeah. Yarn Shop. Yeah. Okay. Next. I'm Steve okay. with uh, Computer Link Northwest and Skamakaway Internet Services. All right. Keep rolling. <laughs> Mary Hogue, I Viewpoint Landing out in Skamakaway. Mary, it's so nice to see you. It's been forever. <laughs> I'm Donna Beaufray, member of the chamber board and a treasurer. And the Bloom's goddess. And the Bloom's chairperson. Yes. I'm David Zabel uh, from the Jabber Shack. Hi, Hi, David. And I am Cecile Bamer, and I work at the community center um, and part of developing Employee Wakaikum, which is an em employment services program for Wakaikum County. Nice to meet all of you. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. Stacey, don't forget Again. to hit that little yep. record button down there on the bottom. Oh, it is recording, Never mind. Okay, I was gonna say mine looks like it is, but okay. All this technology, just when you think you know it and then you don't, so. Because it changes every day. For yeah. Me. Yeah. So one of the fun things that we like to do on our coffee connection is show us your coffee mug. So, um, so you'll have to get out your fun ones if you want to show us your coffee mug. Oh, Donna, I like it with the bee on it. It's a big mug too. Oh, I like the butterflies, Linda. That's pretty. So uh, I'm we, so we uh, with. Steve's encouragement and his idea was to make some mugs for a coffee connection. So oh, that's what we've done. Oh, and nice. the presenters will be given our Wakayakum coffee mugs. So we'll awesome. have to either have you guys come up to Kathlamet or which we would love, or I will mail them to you out there in Oregon where you're hanging out. So we're actually coming up there today. Oh for the first time in months. Oh, oh, it's a beautiful day today, too. Yes, yes. We bought a sign, new sign, and we're bringing it up there to, well, it's, we need somebody to install it, but but we're bringing it today. You're not going to climb up on the ladder yourselves and get it all the way up there? Not me. No. no. I was up on a ladder at pruning my apple tree, but that, that was as risky as I want to get. Yeah, balancing a sign is a little different than pruners. Yes, yeah. and it's huge. Yeah. I just realized how huge that sign was. Well, it's going to look great. So for everybody's knowledge, these two amazing, brave souls have bought the uh, Columbia River self-storage, which is actually two places. Um, we have one of the storage units at the horse barn over at um, over Glengate. Yep, and that's that's uh, been a that's been great. And keep our stuff in there. In fact, Cecile and I have to go move a Christmas tree in there. I guess they're done with it over at the community center finally. And then uh, and then the main office or the main storage unit is on the highway. And is that where your focus is going to be? We'll turn the time over to you two now to tell us a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to start just by giving myself a, a little bit of an introduction. I'm a mom of two grown boys, and I have six 
six grandkids and at the moment two foster kids. I've uh, been a real estate investor since 2001, a, a CPA and a full-time corporate tax income, income tax person at Columbia Sportswear for more than 15 years. And Linda and I- real started, slacker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Linda and I started doing real estate deals together maybe 2012, 15, something like that. Although she's helped us buy our, my personal residence two or three times also. But I'll turn it to Linda to introduce herself. Hello, everyone. Yeah, my name is Linda Cox. I've been a licensed realtor in the state of Oregon since, uh, I don't know, a little over 30 years. Wow. And yeah, I, um, I actually got started in investing when I was 12 years old, which was uh, a little too young to uh, own any property. But my grandfather thought I should own a slice of land in uh, the Oregon Coast Range. Uh, and I kept that until I was about 30 years old and, and then um, sold the, the building lot and have dabbled in investments ever since. Uh, and Sharon and I then uh, have started to do things the last few years just kind of as a joke in passing years ago when I was uh, first a realtor I said to Sharon you know I think we should invest in a um, self-storage facility because so many of my clients can't find a place to put their stuff while they're mm -hmm. moving from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. I literally forgot I said that but Sharon never did and <laughs> many years later we started looking in earnest to find a self-storage facility uh, we could purchase. And voila, here we are in Cath Lamont. We love it. We love the small town atmosphere. We were delighted with driving through your downtown core area. And I'm hoping that sometime in the near future, Sharon and I can spend a few days there and maybe discover some of the bed and breakfasts or other facilities that you have to offer. I'm holding out for the crab bead myself. <laughs> Yeah, that's, we ever next... get back to normal, whatever normal is. <laughs> Hopefully, next February we can get you some crab. All right. Yeah, and I'll bet Mary has some uh, some good insight on the bed and breakfast scene. We we would love to hear about that. It's yeah yeah we would love to hear about that, Mary. Or you could send us an email so we have it in uh, in some detail. Yeah, well, that would be fabulous. Skamakaways great too we're the little town further down west and mm -hmm. um stacy's got all the places online now on the chamber website oh. we have um i don't want that thank you <laughs> we have um three little apartments and um that we rent like vacation rentals so we don't make you breakfast but there are a few places that do are more like that right right here um next to us and stuff so Lots of fun choices. So well, cool. She undersells it because uh, she's not mentioning the fact that you're actually on the Columbia River when you're staying in those apartments. Yeah, yeah. 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 the view is stunning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I love it. Well, we love that, that small town feel there. And actually, I have to tell you a, a story that amused Sharon and I. For months, I was on the phone with the courthouse, the assessor's office. Uh, I knew which day to call to get whoever it was I talked to before because of COVID restrictions. They were alternating the days of the week they worked. And after communicating with these people for about 11 months, one day Sharon and I walked into the courthouse chatting away and someone yelled, oh, it's Linda Cox, I think she's here. <laughs> Not just uh, small town living. Yep. Yeah. You know, they <laughs> recognized my voice apparently, and they were so warm and welcoming. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, getting to know a few more of you in person, as, or if you can just recognize, recognize my voice when I walk into your place <laughs> of business. I think I will know it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, Sharon, do you want to take over? You have a little bit more of a vision why we bought this particular facility and uh, uh, what we're going to do or hope to do as we move forward. Yeah, we love this facility for a number of reasons, but one of them was just the really good visibility along the highway. We thought that was great because it's easy for people to see what the business is and what we're doing. Um, it took us forever to come to an agreement with the seller 
it was literally almost a year, I would say, we've been negotiating to buy it. <laughs> finally came to an agreement on terms and, and had an awful time with the title company, finally got clear title and all that. So we are uh, in business finally, and we are rocking and rolling. We've already remodeled the building A, which had uh, didn't have dividers all the way to the ceiling. So now we've got that fixed so that all the units there in building A are secure. We um, had the water mitigation done because there was water running down in the parking lot and got that fixed. And both those projects were done by local contractors. We uh, got a sign we're bringing up there today. Uh, we're gonna have to store it until we get somebody out there that has one of those lift things that can put it up high on the top of the pole. And we wanna get the pole painted before we put the new sign in. Um, one of the projects we have still coming up is landscaping because we want to get rid of the grass. Um, don't see the point of mowing weeds forever and ever. So we're trying to get it to all to gravel, but that's going to be really expensive. So we're probably going to do it in stages. Um, I think that's all we're going right now. We have a special on building A. The five by tens are uh, one month is for one buck with a minimum of three months. <laughs> Rent and we're advertising that in the Columbia River, uh, Columbia, yeah, Columbia River Reader, which I just got a copy of. That was really cool to see our ad in there. And the Chamber of Commerce newsletter also, we're gonna have something in there. So I think that back to you, Linda. Oh, okay. Huh. That was a really quick run through. <laughs> <laughs> One thing we've considered uh, is, we're wondering if there's a need for RV storage or boat storage. We do have a large grassy area over at what I call the auxiliary unit off Glengate, the uh, area behind the barn. There are a few RVs there. We do have one, um, I believe one covered storage unit available, or is it two, Sharon? Two, two available because we did some remodeling on the space and we've created two covered RV storage uh, units. If anyone knows someone that would like something like that, we'd certainly encourage them to call our on-site manager. Uh, we're also fairly excited because we have um, created a website. The facility did not have a website previously. You can easily find it by googling Columbia River Self Storage, or you can, in your address bar, go to Kath Lamott Storage Units. Units.com. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Kath Lamont Storage Units.com. Either way, it's a simple way to hook up to our website. You can absolutely uh, sign up and pay with credit card on the site, reserve, pick your space, reserve it, uh, sign the lease agreement, get all the information <laughs> you need. So you don't need to worry about getting to the office during business hours. However, if you prefer to go in and talk to Janae, she um, has been the on-site manager for years and years and probably knows more than Sharon and I do about everything on the site. So we look forward to doing business with you. Um, and if anyone can give us some feedback, whether you uh, believe there might be a need for RV storage, we would definitely appreciate that. Uh, any other thoughts, Sharon? No, I think that we covered everything that we wanted to cover. Uh, do we have any questions that anyone wants to ask us? Oh, Sharon, there was there was one more thing that Sharon and I threw on the table just this morning, and I didn't have it in my notes. As we mentioned earlier, we're bringing up our, our new sign. We're so thrilled with it. We actually are including our um, new logo that Sharon was instrumental in designing. And that will go on the top of two signs that are there at the facility. The lower sign will be painted white. I think it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind it's of- Very faded realtor office that used to be there. It's kind of <laughs> muddled. Uh, we are planning to paint that white and we are open to renting out the lower sign to anyone that would uh, like to advertise their facility. Local business. So feel free to call um, at, at either Sharon or myself. Uh, I don't know if Stacy has our contact information. She does and our email address. So if, um, if you have some interest in renting the sign, please give us a shout. And with that, I'll 
open it four up. Foot, it's four foot by eight foot. It's big. Big. Four foot <laughs> so by how eight much foot. are you charging for rent for the sign? We haven't really figured that out okay. because it's hard to get information on what billboards rent for. And it's not really a billboard per se. So I was okay. researching billboards. So we can negotiate. We're open okay. to negotiation. Anybody and it's a flat sign that somebody would just slide in mm -hmm, to get mm -hmm. the plastic piece of from cardboard something. Be, yeah, paint it up would be fine. It, well, it would get wet. I would use plastic. Not cardboard, plywood. It, yeah. plywood. Right. Yeah. Or a thin. Or a plastic. Thin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Our new sign is plastic, uh, some kind of stiff plastic type material, sign material. The guy, the sign guy said it was going to be indestructible, which <laughs> we were, we'll see. <laughs> It's the Pacific Northwest. Um, so uh, will there be new signage on the other um, building in Glengate? We're not we're not planning on putting anything at signage out at the barn. I really we want people to go to the main facility and then if if the in the size spots they wander at the barn, then we would introduce that information. But okay. mainly we're having people come to the main office office there at the main facility. <laughs> okay. Seems like that's a good idea. Since that's kind of a residential area, so it seems like that's a wise idea. You know, the, where the barn is. Mm -hmm. um, I there are a lot of people moving to the area, so I would think that your facility would be um, in in need. So I think oh. that's a wise investment on your part. Yeah. Yeah. Anything to um, to take some of the businesses that. Are looking a little dated and update them of course makes the whole community look better so we appreciate your guys's efforts in in bringing things up to a little more current standards and, and agreed yeah that's fantastic yes we even bought a pressure washer Woo oh man <laughs> your life will change after We're pressure washing clean clean the buildings and everything too and make it stiff it up yeah yeah well, awesome. Any other questions of our, our two newbies? We're so glad that you guys were able to join us on Zoom. <clears throat> Thank you for inviting us. Well, um, <laughs> when you come to town today, make sure you make the rounds and, and meet some more people and come into the chamber and get your mugs so that you can. All right. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. We had a, I just real quick before we close, we had a really neat experience last night. We were invited to the uh, VFW meeting that they had and you know, they do a red poppy giveaway every year uh, as a fundraiser and it directly uh, um, impacts um, a veteran in need. So it doesn't go into any kind of uh, administrative costs. So they normally would sit you know, outside of business but with COVID restrictions, that wasn't a possibility. So we put our heads together and, and businesses and the chamber um, had had donation jars that kind of thing so it was really neat because we were they awarded the businesses that helped them to achieve their goals um, nice. and they were yeah it was neat it was great that the community could i mean if there's a word that just describes this past year it's pivot is as stephanie knows pivot pivot, yeah. pivot. You <laughs> keep spinning around and tell you you know Till it gets somewhere. That didn't work. Let's try something else. <laughs> exactly, and uh, that's that's that's. I mean, that's the healthiest way to do business, anyway. So to just keep moving forward. So um, that that'll be the word of the day: is pivot, and get out there in the sunshine, and spin around a little bit. So looks like a beautiful day to come up. So yes, yeah. Last meeting it was pansy. This week it's pivot. What's it going to be next? Next time. Next time it's going to be <laughs> St. Patrick's Day, oh. and that we're going to have fun next week. So we, you know, we're a little bit serious today. And next time, which is not next week, but the week after, will be St. Patrick's Day. And Stephanie from the Spar is going to show us how to make some fun St. Patrick's Day drinks for adults and those that are not drinking alcohol as well. So um, awesome. got some fun, yummy ideas for us. So it'll be a little more casual. Wear your green. <laughs> And your hat. Are we going to put an ingredient <laughs> list so we can? Yeah, oh yeah. So we can make the cheese. Oh yeah. yeah, we'll do a recipe share and the whole thing. It'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be really fun. Nice. Nice. Is the spar doing anything for St. Patrick's Day stuff? I know it's uh, not um, an open day for you. A 
actually we're open every day now, uh, Monday through Friday, lunch to dinner, and then Saturday, Sunday, breakfast to dinner. So yes, we will be open. I'm nice. sure we'll do green beer and corned beef and cabbage because I love corned beef and cabbage. Mm. So well, we'll come down because I hate it and I never cook it, but the other person that lives in my house loves it. So we'll bring him down. I'll eat meatloaf. <laughs> I have to tell you that the structure that you have um, out front is really well done. Um, I, I've had the pleasure of walking through it a couple times while we were doing bloom work this week and uh, the, the structure is very nice. So it looks very comfortable. Thank you. Yes, it's actually awesome. And you know, it just got up right before the 12 inches of snow that we had. So I got to yeah. test my snow load um, <laughs> zoning and it was fine and I didn't lose anything. So it looks yeah, very it actually, it's yeah. warm. It's warm out there um, with the heaters. Now that I got to add my sides on there, um, thank you to the health department and liquor board that allowed that to happen. So um, yeah, it's comfortable and it's nice because I'm only 25% inside right now. And so when we're full outside, I can say, you know what, just sit outside, have a cocktail or you know Coke and wait for your table and it'll be ready for you. So it's yeah. perfect. It's very nice. It's a very comfortable structure. It doesn't feel, it feels very substantial and, yeah. you know, it, it's very impressive. It does put a, you know, it's a nice front to your store. Thank you. Uh, what's the, what's the name of Stephanie's facility? It's a, it's a restaurant and where is it located? It's called, it's called the SPAR. And it's right downtown across from Maria's in the red brick building. You can't see my, I mean, you can see the red brick, but it's a little bit covered by my structure right now. <laughs> okay. All right. Great food. And shout out to goddess Donna for um, changing our blooms pots from <laughs> Valentine's day to St. Patrick's day. Well, had COVID not hit, there would be lovely little daffodils popping up now, nice. but <laughs> we missed them planting season because of all the craziness this year so we didn't get the the uh, daffodils in in time but next year it'll be the pretty St. Patrick's Day decorations and daffodils so nice nice well yeah. the leprechaun doing, sticking up yeah. look great so yeah thank you <clears throat> thanks for saying that yeah well they look really good well guys that's our time and we appreciate you all being here and uh connecting with us and if you would like to sign up and be a presenter and tell us, you can tell us about your business. You can pick a topic that you feel passionate about. You can share a success story. You can ask questions about if you have worries. Um, I was on a three and a half hour Zoom yesterday with um, the economic development portion of our contract. And they really want to hear from businesses and what the businesses need. I will say that I was... <laughs> I was a little blunt and typed into the conversation that what our businesses need is to just open. And um, we, people need to get back to living and businesses need to be open. It was crickets, I didn't hear a word back, but that was my input from them. So I might be hearing from other people today about my comment. But uh, if you do as a business have some uh, things you wanna share with me that I can pass on, please, please do that. Send me an email and I'll pass it forward. So, all right, guys, have a lovely day. Get outside. And I see no clouds in the sky over here. So yeah, beautiful. Yeah. It's a good day. And girls, I expect to see you in here later today. All right. Okay. Looking all right. forward to it. All right. Thanks to everybody. <laughs> nice to meet you. Bye. 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 Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.